why is it so weird when you sit down in front of a camera but not vlog guys welcome back to another video i'm going to try to look into the camera and not into the viewfinder because it's been so long since i've been able to just do a sit down video i've been just uploading vlogs here and there because i've been traveling i went thrifting with my homegirl not too long ago and we found nothing but gems i cannot guess what we found enough because when i say it was hit after hit and the only reason why we be finding gems is because we're not greedy i tell her all the time if you do not feel that butterfly in your coochie leave it if it's not exciting your nips leave it if you're not thinking when you see the piece and you're like i could put this on leave it people be so greedy and they're always trying to buy everything that they like or everything they're like oh ooh, I, I i am and turn into this era where I want to be mindful of my spending, A, but mindful of like my spending when it comes to clothing. So the first thing that I picked up was purses. And when I say these were steals, we were finding hit. We were finding hit after hit after hit when it comes to purses. Like we were really like just finding everything and then some. So the first purse, it was beat to death when I got it, but I did throw in the washer and it is this Kate Spade purse. It's just a little tiny little purse. It has some silver details at the bottom for when you sit it on solid surfaces. And I thought it was really cute. It's a cute little handbag, um, not really shoulder, just a hand. And it looks kind of frumpy, but when it's full of like random crap that I have, it fills it out. And it's like this perfect rectangular square. And when I saw it, I was like, hmm, this is one of those handbags that can go with almost any outfit. So why not pick it up? And it was only like, I want to say like 20 to $25. So a win is a win. Five, and it is a classic coach um, print with like, you know, the obnoxious print of the um, brand that some people don't really like, but I think this just reminds me of a purse that I had back when I was younger. And also you can't go wrong with a tiny little mini, like cute little shoulder bag. And it's cute, like it's cute. So I can't wait to style this. I already styled it. If I can find the picture, I'll insert it right here, but can't wait to style this again. Um, it's a little worn and I really like that. Like it doesn't look brand spanking new. Like some of the leather is worn. And again, like you really can't go wrong with like just a classic print purse. Like it's one thing for it to be the um, MCM bag. I feel like that's kind of loud and proud. This one just gives early 2000s. And I grew up in the early 2000s. So classic coach print, but it's one of those saddle purses. I want to say it's what they're called. A coffee color. An another reason why I picked this up is because I don't have purses in this color and i do want to stop always getting black and you know you can't really go wrong with different um shades of neutrals and again like this is like a classic coach print i think it's really cute next person i got was this bag that i found on a humbug um it was five bucks and it matched a dress that i thrifted um so i thought this would be really cute to style it with and it's just one of those like tie bags or bucket bags that you could just fill up with like your keys, your lip gloss, shit, like just girl things. And then you just hold it in your hand. And I thought this was really cute. Again, I wanted to style it with something that I already got. And I thought this was perfect. Like it's a different type of bag. Like it, you don't always need just a regular purse. The last bag that I got is personally my favorite and has become my everyday purse. It is this perfect, perfect, perfect leather or faux leather mama don't know and i don't care but it's a black purse um it says liz Clyborne. not really sure who that is but it is the perfect arm ratio for a shoulder bag it is not pressed up under your armpit it is perfect it's right under under the boob it's not super duper deep into your armpit so if you're musty you're not getting your juices all on the purse and it's not constantly sliding down. I added this chain to it from my um, what wallet, that? my Michael Kors wallet. I thought this was like a cute little detail for one of the outfits that I wore, but it did not come with this, which is fine because without the chain, it still looks very chic and very classic. Black style outfits or my Aaron outfits, this is really sleek and I will insert a, um, a picture of what 
I probably wore it with. I can't remember if I took a picture of that, but I love this purse. 10 out of 10. I probably got this for like $5, and when I said on the humbug, I wasn't even looking for purses this day. I just saw the purse section, and I was like, I'm probably not going to find anything. Let me just look, and I found this. So, praise to the thrift gods, because this really gassed me up. I got, it, again, I got two suits. I have a blazer and a pair of pants and another shirt that I left at my boyfriend's house, so I cannot put that in here. If I have a picture, I will insert it so you can just at least see what it looks like, but... It's work clothes, so it's not that exciting. This did it successfully. When I put it on, I really liked it. And I don't know if I can, you can even tell, but probably my second favorite work top that I got from this haul. The other one, I hope I have a picture to insert it because it's the same thing, but a little different. So these, if you're familiar, if you're, if you're from, if you were born either like early to the 1999, even early 2000s, you might remember like these shirts being a thing. You might have seen your mom in this shirt before, you know? These are so cute to me. Like the way that they cut, the way that they shape your body, the way that the, the collar just pops perfectly and the way it just shapes in the front. I just think this is really a flattering top for every woman that I've seen it on, including myself. Because when I put it on, I ate everybody up. Like I just, I really like the shirt and I was so lucky to find two. And this shirt was $7.99, so the other one was $7.99 as well. Last shirt that I got in this haul was this cute, how much is this? Eight bucks. It was a vintage find from Truffles, made in the USA. Um, a mesh-ish see-through shirt. So it's not really mesh, but it is see-through. Um, and then it's like this velvet texture around the collar, around the collar, around the like wrist where you will put cufflinks or whatever. And then the flower pattern is also like that texture. And this is my favorite. Actually, this is the favorite shirt. I know I said, sorry, but this is the favorite shirt. But hear me out. This shirt is not a work shirt, but it can be. This shirt, I wore it to dress it up and make it look sexy. Didn't style it yet. I just wanted to put it on so I could get a vision and I got the vision. This shirt eats. This shirt literally can be worn at work if you put like a little camisole or whatever under it. But when you make this sexy, oh, is it sexy? And all I'm going to say is when I wear it, y'all going to be like, okay, she really had a vision. This is so cute and I'm just so excited to style this. I'm definitely taking this on my next trip to style it because mm, it's just so cute. Like just like the splits on the sides. The way it shapes your body, the way my breasts sit in it, and then like I wear a very specific bra under here. It looks so cute. It blends in, but it's not doing too much. Like it's not too, too new. Like I'm not like, oh my God, I want to dress modestly, but like I don't like to show too much. And this is one of those shirts where it's like a happy medium where it's sexy, but it's not giving all, uh, all the secrets away, if you know what I'm saying. Um, the next ones, oh my God, I'm gonna insert a picture right here because like I said, I ate it up. I just styled these the other day and the way my friend was like geeked for me because you can see my little V cuts now because again, I'm a bitch that lifts. Men's pants, they're like classic, what is it? Guide gear, cargo pants. You can see the full, when I insert a picture, you'll see what it looks like, but these fit me so good. Lastly, I got these jeans. Let me tell you about these jeans. Let me tell you about these jeans. These jeans are so fire. I'm trying to tell you the trip that I'm, the other trip that I'm taking next year, these jeans are in the rotation. These jeans are going because the way that these jeans will eat when I'm at my peak body goals. This is those thrift finds that we really be gassing and talking about. Like these are one of those things where you're like, damn, she picked it up and not me. One of those, these jeans. Look at these, these are one of those jeans where you wear like low rise in the front, like they're already on your waistline, but it dips down, it dips down in the front to just show off your abs. And I told you, I already got little Vs. By next year, when I go on the vacation that I'm talking about, I ain't gonna know how to act. Next are skirts. I know this is a long haul, but I promise I'm almost done. 
So the first skirt is only two. The first skirt that I got again was another work skirt. And it's just like um, the next skirt that I wore, I just wore. So I will insert a picture here of how I styled it. And I'm probably going to be styling it differently because what I wanted to wear with this, I didn't have at the time or I thought I didn't. And it was in my house the whole time <laughs> under a bunch of clothes. This skirt is so cute. It's actually a skirt. Actually, no, it's not. It's a skirt with shorts on the inside, but it's just so cute. The little slit that just gives you like, you know, a slight asymmetrical moment, but not really. It's just like a peekaboo. I call it a peekaboo slit just to show the same pattern underneath, but it just adds extra pizzazz. And I was so shocked that I was able to fit into the skirt because you see what that label says. That says what? Extra large, right? But then it says in Korea. I am not a Korean extra large. I am not. The way that I was able to put this skirt on, barely covered the cheekies, but it's okay. It's still eight. It's crazy. I was so shocked that this even made it above my butt, to be completely honest with you, because it really is smaller. It's This is like the equivalent of maybe like an American medium, and I am not an American medium when it comes to bottoms. Like maybe in the tops, but bottoms, hell no. My ass was out, but... We made it work and that's all that matters when it comes to fashion and make it work. But um, I think probably when I lose the last, how much do I have left? I lost 20 pounds so far, so 30. So when I lose my last 30 pounds, I think this will fit my bum a lot better just because like my waist is only going to get smaller. So the next thing that we got, we, the next thing I got was two dresses and the first one is a kimono dress. Um, I just fell in love when I saw this dress at the thrift store and I knew in my head that I wanted to style it in a way that's respectful and I think it is just the most beautiful thing. Um, I don't know what size this is. This is a size smaller than my norm but my friend gassed me up and told me you can fit that and if you can't we'll make it work and at least with this purse this will look really nice and probably like I don't know if it's easy to do red heels or maybe uh, purple because it's purple in this. I don't know. I don't. I didn't think that far. I just thought this was beautiful. We're gonna have to find a way to make it respectful. And then I saw that person. I was like, wow, those will look really nice together. I, I was like, okay. I don't know if I want to get a two piece set because it might give sheen. But it wasn't a two piece set. It was dress. And boy, it's the dress. So beautiful print. Very much like. I don't want to say it's like a 90s style, but it's definitely like, it's given like something that your mom probably wore if you grew up in a black household. Something that your mom probably wore to work, maybe. The print, but the print and the fabric, the fabric is like one of those like slinky style dresses. I don't know what it's called. This is a size six dress, by the way. Petite, by the way. And boy, does it be petiting on my ass. The way it sits, the way my booty bounce when I walk, the way it claps a little bit and gets a little bit. This is like what dudes be dreaming about when they talk about sundress season. If you know, then you know. This, a little bit of cheekage in between, gets a little stuck when you're walking. Wrap me up in plastic. Because he ain't going with me outside. But the last two things are the coats. And boy, when I tell you hit after hit after hit. So... The first coat that I got is a classic leather gear for, by First Classics. It's real leather. Um, it's a size three, 5X, and I know, oh, you bitches, you're always buying up people's size leather. I get it because as a woman who wears a large, extra large sometimes, um, and I can't see it because all the skinny bitches are buying them to wear oversized clothes. It makes me want to cry, but this was too good to pass up on. I needed a big utility leather jacket, and this is definitely the look. So this is probably one of the warmest jackets that I've ever had. And it is so freaking cute. Like what? So the next jacket that I got was another vintage find because it was on the vintage rack, but it's by Savannah. That's on the tag. I already styled and will insert a picture. I'm going to style this again a different way because I don't know if I was really feeling the first way. I wasn't really feeling super confident. In it. I knew it was cute, but I know I could do better. And when you know you could do better, you want to do better. So the next coat that I got was this classic long pea coat that gives 
nothing but New York and floor length perfect for my height and this one was $18 um and it's wool so it's itchy but it's okay last coat is literally my favorite find like not the favorite coat but the favorite find long leather matrix style trench coat um, I want to say this is authentic leather. I don't care if it is or isn't, but I think it is because the wear and tear on this is beautiful. Getting this brand new probably wouldn't have made it as good as how it is now with the wear and tear. And it's a little bit more wear and tear on the back, but it's nothing that's super duper noticeable unless you're like magnifying glass to my jacket, but also you should never be that close to me. So why are you that close? Anyways. I styled this maybe two different ways so far. I, I've already inserted pictures by now of how I styled this, but it is so cute. And the funny story about finding this was my homegirl that I thrift with, my best friend. We went thrifting and she found a leather coat. And you know how like you see someone have something at the thrift and you're like, damn it, why didn't I find them? Why did I find them first? I was kind of sick. I was kind of by my pillow and crying and throwing up. But then I was like, you know what? Her find, I'm gonna find something and it when it comes, it comes. The next day when we went thrifting, I found this. God's timing, boy, when I tell you, if I had this when I was in London, mm, I would have figured it up, but it, it still was kind of warm when we went, so it, it probably would have been too hot. But when it comes to fashion, sometimes you gotta suck it up to be cold or hot. This is literally my favorite find. Like, I just love this coat so much and it looks good with almost anything like I've dressed it up and I've dressed it down I did a dress down for a test run to see like okay maybe well, how can I fin finesse this into a fit that I fuck with for real and boy did it look good and then the other fit looked great so I already know it's nothing but looks coming from this so if you see this if you follow me on social media or if I do a styling video and you see this coat more than once mind your business if you don't have a staple piece just say that because there's no reason that you will hate on me for wearing this beautiful, magnificent, glorious coat all the time. So the last two pair of shoes, are, and then we're done. So the first pair that I got are these cute, pointy-toed, open-toed, strappy shoes. And these bitches are so uncomfortable. I literally twist my ankle walking in them. But these are just those shoes that you're like, okay, let's, let's go take pictures of these and then change it to some Crocs. That's okay. If you know, you know. And last but not least, this is my second favorite find. These are so cute. So where I'm going next year, I won't reveal it until it's time to vlog it. But where I'm going next year, I'm wearing these. And these are just like such a cute gem. I could not pass these up and they were my perfect size. They are so cute, they're not super tall, they're not super wedged, even though I don't think wedges are bad, even though people be eating them up. $9.79 for these beauties, cute color, gorgeous detailing, mint condition, and they just remind me of like early 2000s again. And I am so happy with this find. I don't know what I'm wearing with these, but I just know whatever I pull together will eat down. So I'm just excited for the look that comes with this. But I'm really excited for the look that comes with this on the trip. The trip is, is, is the main course, but this is the appetizer. And I don't know, I might have to wear these on the first day to be like, oh. I know I've been saying like, oh my God, I can't wait to style this. Oh my God, this is so cute, but like dead ass. I literally cannot wait to style this. So if you really want to do a styling video, please let me know. Cause guess what? You ain't gotta let me know. I'm already gonna do it. Even if no one says anything. Cause we're building our, our clientele back up. But anyways, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like these type of thrifting, like videos and whatnot, just know it's way more to come because I'm always thrifting. But also I'm going to be doing like decluttering videos of where I show you guys what I'm giving away to Goodwill and what I'm like donating and whatnot because the shit that I found in my closet that had just been there and I'm like, ugh, when did I wear this? But why did I wear this? It's insane. But I just think a video like that is kind of fun to do because it's just strolled out memory lane of what you thought you would like or what you thought your fashion sense was back then but also it makes you be more mindful of again I'm buying all these clothes I need to give and donate some clothes so right, and I'll see you guys next time bye I'm sorry to wake you up papa let's bye
He's like, bitch, put me down. I know, I just woke you up from your little nap. We about to wash. We about to wash Stinky Man. He is not having it. Anyways, 